For the past year, I've suffered from chronic knee pain. And before the men's 10k approached me, I had serious concerns I would ever run again. Running for the bus, walking upstairs, and even walking my family on holiday could be serious pain. And I honestly didn't know what I was going to do. So I came to Liam at Kia Musical Therapy. For the last couple of weeks, he's been giving me some treatment. He gave me some tips and tools to help me run pain free and to make sure that I really enjoy the men's 10k. Liam is going to tell us about some of the techniques and training tips that we can all incorporate into our daily lives to make us run pain free. So with Stephen, um, his chronic knee pain was down to a localised injury and also some deconditioning of the muscles down his hip and his knee, which is quite prevalent. Um, most knee injuries are typically in what is known as runner's knee, where there's weakness around the knee itself, but also higher up the chain in the hip. So alongside some localised treatments of Stephen's knee with, with ultrasound and some other agents, um, we also really focus on uh, working on Stephen's strength and control around his hip and his knee. All very simple, straightforward exercises which you can do at home as well, but really effective for not only treating existing the injuries, but also preventing those injuries from occurring as you start your training over the coming weeks. Right, so the first easy exercise we're going to focus on is some single leg stance. So this is a nice easy basic exercise to start out with, just to work on your hip and your knee control as you stand on one leg, and just to work on the stability around your knee. So, Stephen's just going to stand on one leg and hold on for balance to start off with. And as he builds his control and his uh, stability around his knee and hip, he's just going to take his hand away and stand on one leg. Nice, easy way to replicate running because obviously, every time we step when we run, you're still on one leg for several seconds at a time. So, build up to 30 seconds left and right just once a day. So the second exercise is a progression of your single leg stance, which is a single leg squat. So your single leg squat is just a more challenging exercise to work on your balance on one leg, and also the strength and stability of your hip and your knee muscles. So Stephen's just going to stand on one leg, hold on for balance again to start off with, this leg in front, left leg in front, and it's going to go down with a wee bend and back up. Okay, so it's a wee bit unsteady, so that's a wee bit too deep to start off. So stand on one leg, just down and slowly back up. Okay, so what's important here is that this knee doesn't travel inwards. So keep the right knee facing forward and back up. Okay, so we've been unsteady. What we're going to do to start off with is just hold on for balance on the bed, on the bend, just as much as is uncomfortable and pain free, and as much as is controlled and stable, and back up. Very good exercise to mimic the bending of the knee as you run. So you can build up to 30 repetitions on each leg, again just one today, nice and comfortable and pain free. And you know, you'll be picking up the added creaks in my knees, <laughs> it doesn't come along. Right, so your next exercise is to start to work on the muscles around the hips and lower back. Strong hips give you a good stable base for your knees to work off. So we're going to line your backs, bend your legs up. And squeezing your tummy muscles to keep your back nice and straight. You're just going to squeeze the hip muscles and lift up off the bed. Just so you're straight from your knees to your shoulders and slowly back down. It's nice and easy, squeezing your tummy muscles and your bum muscles. Up as high as is challenging and slowly down. Again, you can build up to 30 repetitions just once a day. Right? Oh, yeah, that's one. Yeah, goes now. Your next exercise is to work on the muscles on the outside of your hip. Again, just to complement that stability of the hip and knee joints. Um, these muscles are very important for preventing what's known as runner's knee. So a strong hip will prevent your knee from shooting inwards as you run. So nice and easy, have a line on your side, bend your bottom leg for stability, straighten your top leg, toes downwards. You're just going to lift your leg up, in line with your trunk, just horizontal and slowly down. Again, up to horizontal, hold for a few seconds and slowly down again. So left and right for this exercise, then you can build up to 30 repetitions just once a day. 